As part of my special horsetails trip to Argentina, I'd been staying at the San Antonio Polo Farm a couple of hours west of Buenos Aires. It was the end of an afternoon of polo, and as the ponies were being led away, someone said that one of the grooms wanted to show us something pretty out of the ordinary. Now, I was well aware that Argentinian polo grooms are some of the most natural and relaxed people you'll ever find around a horse, but what I was about to see took my breath away. Juan Antia had gone to one of the paddocks and chosen, at random, a mare who, although broken and schooled as a polo pony, had never before experienced anything like what was about to take place. Juan begins by loosely tying one end of a leather strap just below Alicia's near fetlock. Passing the other end of the strap over her back, he then lifts her near foreleg and gently ties it up so that she stands quite happily on three legs. And that's what is so amazing. She really does seem completely at ease with what Juan is doing. And even when he starts to gently bring her to the ground, she offers little resistance. Once down, Juan unties the strap and she lies almost completely motionless, making no attempt whatsoever to get to her feet. It's an extraordinary moment. Watching this strong, powerful animal lying so still, as if in a trance. Is she using some deep-rooted survival technique that tells her to play dead until the danger has passed? Is she so scared she simply can't move? Or has Juan communicated some subconscious message that tells her everything is okay and there's no need to struggle? Giving no other signals other than occasionally running his hands over her body, Juan has turned this otherwise nervous creature of flight into an almost lifeless toy. Part of me is unnerved, while part of me is absolutely enthralled by what I'm seeing. It's like her entire body has gone into some sort of shutdown. Whatever has taken place, and when I later asked him, Juan was himself at a loss to explain what was happening. It was clear that a communication channel of some sort had been opened between the two of them, and to have witnessed it at first hand was simply unforgettable. As if to prove that the mayor had not suffered in any way whatsoever, and like a hypnotist bringing his subject back to the real world, Juan did or didn't give some indiscernible signal, and Alicia calmly got to her feet as though nothing had happened.